everybody, it's Brad here doing another malt experiment beer review. Uh, we're doing Wally Feck, who did Glen Eagles Maris Otter. So let's get into it. Nice low hiss. Black. Very light head on it. Let's uh, get into the nose. It's kind of what I expected. I have used this Glen Eagles uh, Maris Otter before and it is very rich. Uh, I used it to make an IPA with and I wasn't super crazy about it in that beer because I thought I had just way too much malt backbone in it. Um, and it's got a lot of malt backbone on the nose in this one too. It's very rich. That malt is almost like it's got caramel or crystal malt built into it even if you don't use any it's so rich it smells really nice though interesting I'm getting the malt backbone in just about equal amounts that I am the chocolate and a little bit of coffee off of it from the uh, adjunct malts I did let this sit out for about 25 minutes so it could come up to uh, around high 40s low 50s Swirl this thing up just a little bit. Really surprising that the Glen Eagles, not really surprising, but the Glen Eagles base malt is probably the dominant aroma in this beer on the nose. So let's get into it. Cheers. And it is also the dominant flavor in the taste. It's imparting a kind of a rich sweetness to the beer almost. Um, so it's not really coming across all that dry. I think this, it tastes good. But if you're going after a dry stout, I don't think this is the right malt to use. Uh, if you were doing a imperial stout, this would be an awesome malt to use because it would it would lend a very strong malt backbone to that beer. With the dry stout, it's a little too rich, a little too sweet. Uh, it still tastes good. Great job, Wally. I know you said you weren't real super happy with this beer, but it tastes, tastes good, man. Not my favorite one in this recipe, but if you're using it in a, an imperial stout, a barley wine, an old ale, um, something that you wanted a real strong malt backbone in and a lot of flavor from the base malt, this would be a, a good malt to use. Um, overall, really nice drinking beer, uh, just not a good malt to use with a dry stout recipe. But hey, that's what the experiment was all about. It kind, of, it kind of cancels out the dryness and the coffee and the chocolate to where it's just they're, they're secondary players in the flavor profile and that's where they should be the primary. Uh, well, that's it. Good drinking beer. Going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.